welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today, chapter 15, verses 26 and 27. Let's read it. And he said, If you will give earnest heed to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, and give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians, for I, the Lord, am your healer. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve springs of water and seventy date palms, and they camped there beside the waters. So number one, we have a big if, a big if, a big red giant if. And this is going to be an if then. God is telling us these are requirements, and then this is the outcome. And a lot of times we skip over the if part, we skip over the requirements. But notice he says it four times. Did you see it? Four times he says, obey me. Look at it. Time number one, verse, this is verse 26. If you will give earnest heed to the voice of the Lord, that's number one. If you will give earnest heed and do what is right, not just do what is right, but do what is right in his sight. We might do what we think is right in our sight, but he says, do what is right in his sight. That's the second one. The third statement in verse 26 is to give and give ear to his commandments. You know, like really listen, get that ear out there and make sure your ear is fully open, 100% open. There's three. And the fourth one is to keep all his statutes. Keep them. So four times he says it in four different ways. Obey me, obey me, obey me, obey me. This is my instruction, do it. 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 Like, if we don't get that, like, how many neurons do you have left in your brain? That's not hard to understand. So big F, conditional, and then he says it in four different ways. Do what I say, do what I say, do what I say, do what I say. Not because he's mad to have us do, do uh, just be doing things, but because it's for our good. He wants us to follow his insights, follow his instructions, so he tells us that, and then he tells us the next piece, right? We already read it. If you do my stuff, I will put none of the diseases on you which I put on the Egyptians, for I, the Lord, am your healer. So God wants to heal his people. He is giving them instructions. He will allow them, if they eat ridiculously, if they eat ridiculous food, if they do things that's ridiculous to their health, they're going to reap the results of it. But God is telling them, find out what my instructions are, and do what I say, and you will be blessed. You will be blessed in the especially, particularly right here in the area of health. So there's a lot of people that think that health is somehow not part of God's plan. Health is, you know, he made us here and we're supposed to eat whatever greasy, poisonous thing with filled with poison and processed thing we can find in the store, and you'll find plenty in the stores. Friends, fruits and vegetables, natural things, some nuts, and your nuts don't have to always be uh, roasted and, and have every kind of processing and chemical. You can eat things that are raw. You can eat things that are very, very, very healthy. Well, it doesn't taste as good. Well, let God adjust your taste buds. But you know, I mean, what's the other option here? The other option is you get to have the diseases of the Egyptians. And we could spend a lot of time just talking about what we understand from history are the diseases of the Egyptians, but many of them are the diseases that are around you today. Your neighbor, your neighbor has some of the diseases of the Egyptians. Why? Because he's being poisoned by the food that he's buying in the store. So look for things that are healthful, things that God designed that haven't been processed, and God will bless you. And we won't labor the point, but did you notice also then verse 27? They came first yesterday to the bitter waters and God made them sweet. But notice as they keep on the very next stop on their journey after he gives them the health command, he takes them to Elam, where there's springs of water and date palms, and, and that must have seemed like, wow, you know, we could hang out here for a while. And maybe they camp there for a while on the way to the promised land. God gives them a really beautiful rest area there with figs and clean water and, yeah, good stuff. So here it is, bitter water, then there's the health command. And then there is the blessing of God's blessings when we do the right thing. So God wants to take us from bitter foods, bitter health, health problems, diseases, degeneracy, poisoning. He wants to take us from that. He wants to take us to an experience of Elam, an experience of being blessed by God's many healthy and 
good things that he wants to give us. He designed some of these foods. That God, There's a lot of foods that you and I have eaten that God did not design. There's a lot of things that we have eaten that are designed by giant corporations to destroy our health and take your money. They, it's not because they love you that they make stuff that's laced with every kind of weird poisonous chemical. And so let God be our helper and let's look for healthy things. And the manna is coming up here and we're gonna find that's a pretty healthy item too. So I think there's a picture here, there's a clear picture of God wants his people to eat healthfully, live healthfully, get some exercise. Yeah, so, you know, they're not going to just go straight to Israel, they've got to walk there. <laughs> and walking is said to be the best exercise. Well, we'll carry on here. Just a few observations though at this a very famous verse, 1526, a health, a verse that has to do with health. Health is part of God's plan for his people. If you haven't taken health steps right now, hey, look what we've just lived through. There's every appearance that there's some people that think the earth has too much population and it'd be good for a lot of people to die. Uh, those are the same people that are wanting to sell you a lot of the food, quote unquote, food products in the store. So be careful here. Find some things you can do. Take some steps to, to go and be more healthy. Have you heard the New START acronym? We won't say any more about it, but nutrition, exercise, water, sunlight, temperance or self-control, air, fresh air, rest, don't forget the Sabbath, and trust in God. That's your acronym for the day. We won't say more about it right here, but God will bless your health. And most people that are listening to me would be glad to have blessings in health. All right, we'll carry on tomorrow out into chapter 16. And there's some interesting stuff coming right up at Exodus 16.